Hi, people around the world. Reno, the road pirate. Yeah, soon I I hit the road with my Ural and, and Saika going to Mozambique. And yeah, I got thick clothes on. I'm in South Africa and it's winter time and then the temperature drops at night. Day On the daytime, it's wonderful. It's about around uh, 20 degrees Celsius. Um, yeah, the, there's a statistic about my YouTube channel. And I'm really, really surprised what's going on there. I, and I would like to tell you that. I, I have to read it, you know, I got a piece of paper here. So the statistic is saying 50% of my viewers are older than 65 years. That is amazing. That means a lot. I think, you know, 30% of the viewers are 55 to 64, 13% in between 45 and 54. 5.3% 35 to 44 and 2.4% are 25 to 34. The youngsters, they spend 24 hours uh, in front of their gay play games and, and stuff like that. They, they are losing the contact to the earth. And 78.9% of my viewers are uh, males and 12.1 are women. Uh, this is for me is somehow shocking. And 80% of my viewers are from the United States of America, the US. People watch this channel. Please explain to me what you think about this. I'm very interested. You know, I, I rode my bikes in the 80s and 90s in the US. I crossed all the continents, including Canada, Alaska, and all that stuff. I never went to Hawaii. I don't, it's not interesting, it's too small. And I was there. And I was stopped on the highway all the time. I had written on my suitcase, uh, Germany. So people, they overtake me, they get in front of me and they stop me and they ask me, where are you going? And I said, oh, I'm the way to, from east to west. I, I don't know where I'm going really, you know. And there's no, no uh, plan or destination really. And they said, come on, follow me. Follow me, you are my guest. Come to my house. And that's how it was. They invited me in their homes. They opened the doors for me. And they said, this is the fridge, you know, help yourself. They took off work just for 10 days to show me around. They, they gave me relationship addresses uh, a few hundred miles further where I could go and stay. There were pensioners on the road. I, I met them at a campground and they brought me food. And they said, where are you going next? And I said, I don't know. And they said, okay, we are going there and there and there. We drive 250 miles. We can meet you there again. We adopt you on the road. I slept on trucker stops, parking stop, parking places for trucks. They came out and they asked me, uh, what, what, what you doing? What you doing overnight? And, and I said, I don't know. I, I need a campground, I think. And they said, no, you can sleep here. Uh, I cook something up for us, drink a beer, tell stories. It was amazing. And I rode 
hours and hours and hours on one farm in Montana. And there was a truck stop in the middle of that farm. So I stopped there and they said, oh, where are you coming from? And I said, I'm from Germany. Oh, then I have to organize something. So she was phoning the neighbor ranchers. And after the one, two hours, they all came to welcome me. And they said, you have to come to my place. We have a barbecue. And, and they got a fight <laughs> where I had to go first. How lovely is that? That was my experience in the 80s and in the 90s. I think today it's different. But I enjoyed it so much and I have a lot to tell about that you know there were stories you know there were a lot of stories I, I have a very good friend in Fort Wayne Indiana and uh, they helped me over 30 years they helped me uh, buying things in America you know I bought a lot of Harleys some people don't like that, and I brought them to Germany, but also BMWs on the English bike Triumph and all that stuff, you know. Sometimes there was a 20-foot container just for me, that stuff, and it, I made a living out of that. But in the end, yeah, and I understand that today, uh, they want to keep their old stuff as well in their country, you know. So I went to Paraguay and bought bikes over there. It was fun. So I don't want to talk too much. Please, tell me your thoughts why 80% of all viewers I have living in America. I really, really like to know what happened. So, have a good evening. Have a wonderful night. Treat your wives well. Look after your bikes. And don't do anything what I wouldn't do. Goodbye.